Hi, welcome to another adventure with the Gig Master. The Gig Master has a surprise today. Check it out. We got us a new toy. Stay tuned and I'll show it to you. And here's the new toy. It's an XPJS. Check it out. We're going to get it out right now and give it a little shot. We're out here at the old field that uh, we've been hitting it really, really hard, so I don't know how much stuff we'll find today, but we're going to take some time and learn how to use it. This machine must have a thousand different ways you can set it up, so it's a little bit more of a learning curve, but I'm going to work on it, and we're going to have some Gig Master programs before it's over with. All right, stay tuned. All right, I got my first diggable signal with my new XP DAS. It looks like it's reading about 81, 82 on the screen. Pretty consistent. Let's try 90 degree action here. Same thing, consistent 81, 82. I'm using a G-Max program. So, here we go, the very first dig with the XP DAS. Here we go. What do we got? That was Still down in the hole. All right, here we go. The very first target. Here we go. Can't wait to see what see what it brings out. Ah, it sounds good, guys. I don't know. But I don't know what I'm doing yet either. Cause it uh, it's got a right, I think we should go down here and check it out. Now, what y'all think? Let's give it a try. It's not any way outside here. I don't think. No, it's still down in the hole. Right, let's check it out. Here we go. I think it's close enough to the surface we can get to it now. Ah, it's in my hand right here. It's in my hand. What is it? It's right there, whatever it is, I think. Wow. There it is. Oh, and the first find of the XP DAS is a shotgun chill. They always give you good signals. Nice, big and round, copper. Get you every time. But that's, that's it. Did pick that one out and I did dig it, so I'm happy with that anyway. It's, it's finding targets. All right, let's keep getting up. All right, Gary Bro decided to join us today. What's going on, Gary? Uh, I think it's a piece of trash. Oh, Gary's got it hit down. He's thinking it's trash, eh? <laughs> Go ahead and dig it. Show, it, show us the trash, Gary. Show us the like trash. trash. Right there. It's that big, yeah. piece, big piece of iron. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, sometimes big pieces of iron can really give you a good signal sometimes. Yeah, it was too, breaking yeah. up. It was yeah. breaking up real bad. All right, Gary says he's got some roundage here. What you got, Gary? I'm not sure. Tell you the truth. We got. Yeah, you got something around there. Looks like it, is it copper? I don't know. There's a half a moon. There's a moon. See. What you see on it? Got to have something. We had to clean it up. Yeah. Interesting. Looks like it's got a hole through it, so some kind of tag or something maybe. I want to clean it up and check it out. Good job, Gary. Good job. All right, Gary's the roundage man today. He's got all kind of round. Oh, that looks like a coin there for sure. It's a coin. Yeah, definitely. I put I a glass on so I can see it. Ah, uh, you like me, man. That's an Indian head, I think. I think it's an Indian head, too. Yeah, sweet. Good job. Congratulations, man. The first good coin of the day. All and right. Gary hits it with the, with the old x yep. 1000. 1882. Nice. 1882. All right, let's keep getting up. All right, just dug this. I believe this is a piece to do a tampion where uh, it used to go into gun barrels, so just like a plug to keep stuff from going in them. I believe that's what it is, a broken piece of one. All right, let's check it out. Hey, buddy. What you got now? Got a bullet. Three nice. Rings. Nice little Civil War three ring uh, mini ball here. Isn't that awesome? All right, congratulations, man. You're killing me, though. Killing me. No hey, it's been, it's been killing me. No Excalibur. Killing me today. Yeah, I love the Excalibur. <laughs> love my Excalibur. enjoying trying to day us out it's so light you can swing this thing all day I'm digging a lot of targets and they're all they're good sound targets like the shotgun shells and brass and some copper and you know modern bulls oh, I haven't put my coal over top of anything good yet any uh, uh too much you anyway, know I got that one little piece of half a tampon I think but that's about it so far and um but I'm still looking but uh so far I like it it's, it's really identifying some small targets deep 
but I don't know all the good sounds and what not to dig and what to dig yet. So I'm digging a lot of things I probably would not dig with the AT Pro because I know the sound so well. But anyway, we will keep giving a shot and uh, see what we find. Uh, that's a good ways down. There. What you got, Doc? Musket ball. Nice old musket ball. All right. Nice. I don't think it's been fired too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty deep too, though, huh? Yep. Nice. All right, congratulations, man. Keep getting up. All right, we're going to do a live dig with the dock side of a good signal. I did check it with the uh, XP Deus, and, and it was kind of a bullet number for the XP Deus, so we'll see how it goes. It's like 82 on this, and I tested it at home, uh, air testing. It seemed like that's what the bullet numbers were running on me, so uh, it could be something good. Doc, he's zeroing in on it. Sidewall. Then the sidewall. Getting close now. You got it out. Nice yeah, piece of lead. It's a lead or, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's uh. It's got a. Like yeah. a almost elongated bullet. Yeah, it's just there, a, nah, it's just a just melted a, piece of lead. Let's see what we got here. Got a couple of those today. Yep. Can't just like it. a bullet number though, just a big chunk of lead. All right, man, yep. keep getting. All right, we had our first day out with the XP Deus today, and we had an awesome day. We didn't find a whole lot of wrecks, but we did a lot of testing and a lot of checking on it. Let's check it out right now. You know, the first thing I like to say is how light this thing is. You can carry this thing around all day long, no problem. The second thing, it, it has unlimited amount of programming you can do on it. Um, I had a friend of mine stop by and help me uh, do a whole new program on it. Right, I didn't even use it yet, but he said this is the one he used. He's been using this thing for like three years. He's designed a really good program, and I, I've got it set up in here now for the next time out. Um, I did use one of the standard programs with the unit today, and I did use another one I was downloaded off the um, Internet. So anyway, we got a couple different ones, but this one here is supposed to be a good one. Um, we had a pretty good day. I had uh, Gary and Doc with me today. And let me show you what they found real quick right now. All right, here's some of Gary's finds. Uh, he's not showing all the trash he dug, but he is showing most of the better stuff. You can see, uh, you see a big piece of iron at the top. And then down below that, some modern bullets. And then he got a three-ringer, a little, I believe, a piece of a musket ball. A nice Indian head. It's like an 1882, I believe. And then, uh, we're not sure what that third thing is. We thought it was a coin, but we're not sure now. All right, here's a nice overview of Doc's finds today. He did pick up a few shotgun shells and trash, but he did get a few good things. The first thing we'll look at are these buttons. Check these buttons. They got a lot of nice uh, gold gilt on them, and you can read them pretty good. So they're pretty good shape for buttons you find in the field a lot of times. And here are some other things he got here. Uh, two musket balls and a, uh, we, we think is a um, three ringer. You can see the three rings there, but it's an extra lead. We don't know if it was like sliced in half and half of us out in the back of it or what there, but and it's a little strange piece of lead there. I certainly didn't do as good as they did probably, but I got one little, I think a silver little musket ball, a bucking ball, a possible uh, pistol shell shot there. I think this is a tampion right there from uh, where you put the end of the barrels to, to, to keep the water from going down. I'll show a bigger picture of that right there online. And a uh, big piece of lead, shotgun shells. Man, I was digging. I don't, you know, my old machine, AT Pro, I could kind of tell sometime, especially if they're ragged. But on this machine, I have not learned a lot yet of how to discriminate some of that stuff out from the sound. Uh, anyway, I did end up digging a couple big pieces of iron and... Uh, some shotgun shells and some a lot of aluminum uh, can slaw. So I did end up having to dig some of that today because you've got to learn those sounds and what not to dig. And I have not learned that on this machine yet, but I'm getting there. This machine, I can tell, is going to be the way to go for it's over with. But i got to learn the machine. You've got to learn the machine before you can do good. So anyway, I'm working toward that goal, and uh, we're going to get there. And tomorrow, we're going gold panning. So stay tuned. In a couple of days, you'll see a new video of gold pan. First one for this year. All right, stay tuned.